Thank you very much. Thank you, steelworkers. I appreciate what every one of you do every day, not just for elected officials and candidates like me, but what you do every day in your daily work, your labor, and the dignity of the labor that you provide to this country and your members do. Thank you for doing that. Steelworkers, men and women, families who are steelworker families here in this capital and across the country. We've got, you heard Senator Durbin, who's been a great leader, not just for his state, but for the country and for our party. He's a clear thinking leader, part of our leadership team led by Harry Reid. They've done great work. And you heard Senator Durbin, you heard a great senator by the name of Bernie Sanders, and you, you will have heard other members of Congress up here. And what brings us all together today is a common agenda for people an agenda on trade. We know at the bottom line, we can talk about the issue for a long time, but we know something in our guts and in our hearts, that if you level the playing field and you give American workers that level playing field, they can outcompete any workers in the world. And we know that. And your members prove that every day. So we're going to work for fair trade. And that means making sure we don't have trade agreements that undermine our workers, our companies, and our economy. We're going to make sure that we focus on that. We're also going to focus on your right to organize. The Employee Free Choice Act, supporting that was not a difficult decision for me. Co-sponsoring that was not a difficult decision for me. But I want you to know something. I really believe that the Employee Free Choice Act is not just about the men and women of steel, steel workers and their families, and the men and women of organized labor. That alone is reason to support it. I believe that the Employee Free Choice Act is better for America, for our economy, for our families, and for our future. And we should all make sure we get it done to, to pass it. So, Today in America, you know that 47 million number of uninsured Americans. Nine million of them are children, and justice cannot abide. We cannot tolerate nine million American children all across this country without any health insurance. So we've got to do two things on children's health. Make sure the program continues to cover the, the six million kids that are covered right now, and the nine million American children who have no health insurance at all. We're going to make sure that we invest in them in the dawn of their lives, as Hubert Humphrey taught us a long time ago, give them the health care and the nurturing and the nutrition and the education they need to get a healthy and smart start in life. And we want to make sure that we do that as Americans, as well as people who support organized labor. So. One of the best ways to ensure that we get the right policy in Iraq, to make sure we keep our eye on the ball on trade and the economy, is to make sure that we keep you strong, to give you the chance to organize. Because when you can organize, you help all of our families. So I'll leave you with one message. And it's something you've heard a long time ago, but it's important in this town to repeat ourselves to get our point across. It's a very old saying, and, and you might say it differently than I will say it, but here's what it is early to bed, early to rise, work like heck, and organize. Thank you very much. <laughs>